A web content filtering is a technique which is used to filter content which is deemed offensive, inappropriate, or just dangerous. This is done with the help of a tool also called as a web content filter which is placed between the end user and the internet. Hey guys, my name is Nikesh and through this channel I try to make network security and cloud security concepts simple to understand. So if you are in cyber security and looking for such videos, stay tuned. Now I'm sure you'll be like, wait a minute, isn't the web content filter a feature of the next gen firewall? Well, the answer is yes and a no. I'll justify my point of view in a few seconds. But before that, let's understand why the content filtering is even required in the first place. Here's a glimpse of how a typical OSL layer looks like and where the next gen firewall or the network firewall works. The network firewall works on the network layer and some of its features also work on the transport layer as well. So the web filtering that the network firewall does is at the network and the transport layer. However, when a user logs on to a web browser to search for any kind of website, the mechanism moves over to the application layer instead of the network layer. Which is why if a web content filter is not used in an infrastructure, the firewall can only filter or scan websites at the network layer. So in order to be able to scan user traffic on a web browser level, Here's where the use of a web content filter comes to play at the application layer. Now, before we jump into the realm of how a typical web content filter is used in a real world, let's look at some of its features, shall we? Hackers out there waiting for vulnerable users and organizations to be phished, load malware into our systems and exfiltrate private data and do maximum harm to the society. This can be done easily by spoofing a genuine website and lure users to register with them and force them to use fake web services. Features of a web content filter such as protection against exploits, identifying genuine websites, reduce malware infection by blocking traffic towards fake websites. You can even protect minors from accessing adult websites. And of course, by doing this, you can increase staff productivity by twofold. Make good use of corporate bandwidth without wasting it on inappropriate websites or downloads. And finally, you can even minimize overall organization liability. These are just a few basic features out there in the market that most of the web content filters hold. However, there are numerous other features that the web content filters offer. Comment down below if you'd like to know more about such solutions that offer advanced web content filtering. All right, so let's understand how to use a web content filter. Here's a typical network architecture of most companies out there. We have the access layer, we have the distribution layer and the core layer just before the internet. Now, there are two main deployment modes to deploy a web content filter in the network. First one is the inline mode and the second one is the out of band mode. However, for the sake of the video, I'll pick inline mode of deployment. Well, web content filters itself also come in two different forms, a software which is idly on the cloud and a hardware. It all depends on the organization's way of designing their network. But regardless of the type of the web content filter, here's where it is to be placed. Why? Because when the end user traffic traverses via these layers up to the application layer, here's where the traffic is filtered before it goes to the internet as a TCP request. I know it may be a lot to absorb, but just remember, a web content filter is to be placed always before the internet regardless of the network design, otherwise it just makes no sense. To summarize, we saw what is a web content filter, why use a web content filter in the first place, how does it actually work, what are its benefits, and how it can be used in the real world. Let me know in the comments down below if this video helped you understand the basics of web content filtering. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who may need it, and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.